Republican attempts to label the migrant surge an invasion have fallen flat in the courts where judges say the flow of people and drugs looks less like a constitution-breaking military incursion and more like the kinds of border problems that have plagued the country for decades. A judge said last week that James Madison and other founding era figures would not have seen the border smuggling and flows of illegal immigrants in Texas, even with the size of the surge, as a state being actually invaded. Texas' new interpretation of its power to protect itself against alleged invasions goes far beyond the original and natural meaning of invasion and incurably exceeds the power granted to the states by our founding fathers, said Judge David Allen Ezra. The invasion debate stems from the Constitution's Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3, which reads, No state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any duty of tonnage, keep troops or ships of war in time of peace, enter into any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power or engage in war, unless actually invaded or in such imminent danger as will not admit of delay. Legal issues aside, the public tends to see the border situation as an invasion, according to a Rasmussen Reports survey this month. The poll found 64% of likely voters said that was a quote, accurate description, compared with 33% who said the border didn't qualify as an invasion. To read more, visit WashingtonTimes.com.